Founding father George Washington and Italian explorer Christopher Columbus, who until recent years was widely known as the man who discovered the New World. Taking down statues erected in their honor on city property is again being debated. By contextualizing or mandating the removal of works of art depicting individuals who profited from the slavery of black people or committed heinous acts against indigenous peoples, we challenge the celebration of those who have perpetuated oppression. During a city council committee hearing, council member Sandy Nurse outlined her bill that would sanction the removal of city art depicting a person who owned enslaved persons, benefited from slavery, or committed crimes against indigenous people or humanity. We need to appreciate, again, uh, historical context. The bill would require the city's public design commission to create the plan for removal, as well as a process for determining whether city art should instead include an explanatory plaque contextual the person's legacy. In 2018, then Mayor Bill de Blasio's Advisory Commission on City Art voted to remove a statue of Dr. J. Marion Sims, a 19th century gynecologist who performed experimental surgery on enslaved women without their consent or anesthesia. The commission declined to remove other artwork across the city depicting controversial figures, including the statue of Christopher Columbus in Manhattan's Columbus Circle for what some scholars and indigenous advocates say were atrocities committed by Columbus against indigenous people. Someone like Columbus who introduced chattel slavery to the Western Hemisphere, he doesn't deserve the hero statue that he has. But a vocal contingent of New York's Italian community continues to balk at removing the statue. There's a lot of false things that have been brought as a cause of Columbus. Uh, Columbus did unite the continents. As for George Washington and his statue in Union Square, the executive director of the Harlem Historical Society says owning slaves should not force those monuments to come down. There's trade-offs, you know, like uh, George Washington absolutely was the father of our country. Now, the bill would also require the Department of Transportation to work with the Department of Education to affix explanatory plaques next to schools named after historical figures that fit the previously outlined criteria. The bill is still in committee and must be voted out of committee in order to be considered by the entire council. Reporting from Manhattan, Nia Clark, New York One.